nice, healthy, quality, tournament quality largey. So here we are, first morning, I don't think it's 6 a.m., about 6 a.m., on the whitefish chain, just getting out, thought I'd play around with the top water, see if there was an early bite, looking at some, some old stomping grounds. The very first bite, I don't know, solid two and a half, just a real healthy, beautiful, you know, a bag full of these and a couple kickers is what we'll be looking for, so... All right, so we're here for the Bass Nation TLC, getting practice started. Be checking in off and on uh, for this practice video, but so far, can't complain. Little guy. Third bite on the top water. them another tournament quality whitefish on the D-bomb. Not too bad. God, the fish are beautiful up here though. Look at that. Just great color, healthy. Well, we caught a few fish, but now I'm in basically a self-imposed timeout because the pike have literally bit five lures off, so I gotta sit down and retie uh, half a dozen rods, so that is kind of the dangerous part. Like just the tick and uh, you get nothing. So it could be an expensive week practicing. <laughs> nice little flipping bass on the diva. Been hunting and pecking all morning, looking for a grass bite. Finally found a stretch where I've actually had like caught two and pulled on a couple of decent fish like this. So uh, maybe because of the front and the clouds, the bites happen a little bit, but finally find a few deep fish. Day two morning, Pete and I just rode out a heck of a storm in this lift. Thank you to the people on Upper Whitefish that were not home and uh, unloading let us use this. Well, it was, tell Pete, it was nasty. It was nasty. I mean, it was blowing 30, 40 waves, rain, lightning, but so uh, kind of sum up day one yesterday with. Uh, Found about four or five good areas, covered a lot of water, eliminated a lot of water, it wasn't easy. A few quality fish that you saw. And today we're looking for more deep water. And I don't know how good the bite's gonna be after this unplanned storm, but Pete and I are gonna be hunting for more offshore fish. So that's day two. Hopefully it clears up. We'll get the cameras out and you'll see a few fish catches today. So stick with it. Cute little guy. A jig. Today, Super slow, rained like crazy, windy this morning, not a lot of bites. When we did, it was super windy, I didn't bother turning the camera on, so got a few fish on uh, chatter baits, lipless crankbaits, uh, and now I'm just kind of fishing shallow the jig and seeing if we can find something before we call it a night. So might check back in, otherwise day two was only semi-productive and most people we talked to today really struggled. So that's day two in a nutshell. One more day of practice to, uh, to figure this place out. Day three, final day, practice check-in. Was just throwing a little bit of top water on a hump, seeing if there's any largies or smallies this morning. Now we're gonna go scout. The sun is bright today, the sunrise. Um, the bite's been tough. Uh, got a little something late yesterday afternoon as the camera was kind of stopping. And uh, we'll see if that plays out. Kind of a little shallow bite deal. So we're gonna keep looking deep, but I think I can fall back on that shallow bite if I need to during the tournament. So hopefully we find some juice today. 
Quick update, been hunting for some new grass. Caught this decent largey, got the little baby D-bomb. So maybe one more spot, get him back in there. So far, it's been tough this morning as well. Uh, I found a couple spots that I liked. Uh, pike, a few bites. This is the first bass I caught today. I did check a couple docks and I did pull on a couple. So that might be a good backup plan for tournament day. But we got quite a few hours left today to find some fish. So let's see what happens. All right. This is definitely a spot. We're definitely getting out of here. That's two bites in about a boat length. So, found something to pay off today. So, some flipping fish in like 8 to 12 feet. Some, uh, some, some really good coontail here. So, I think that uh, the grass on this lake has not been great this year, and uh, finding the coontail or the milfoil seems to be the key. Well, there's one we couldn't shake, but we've been getting some bites on a jig on some of these boat docks. So, plans coming together. Let's see what we can do. We shook off a whole bunch like that today, so hopefully it holds up for a couple days and uh, we can get them. Got me a frogfish. Just in here goofing around out of the wind and throwing my frog around and boom. Cute little keeper. Another option. is a wrap overall mixed feelings on the practice uh it was pretty tough most days there were big lulls where i was getting a lot of bites but i spent the great majority of my time fishing offshore deep uh edges and flats and i feel like i've got four or five maybe six areas and uh that i feel good about getting quality bites on on uh, upper whitefish and then i got a couple spots in, in cross so my game plan it really is to hit those deep spots fairly early the first day try to get through as many of my cam in an hour or so, and then go fish boat docks the rest of the day. Hopefully put a couple good fish offshore in the, in the live well. Um, I'm not getting a ton of bites, but the ones I am getting out there are quality fish, you know, two and a half to three plus pounders. Um, so if I get a couple of those and then go fish boat docks the rest of the day, I feel like I can have a pretty good tournament. So that's kind of my game plan. Uh, try to hit a top water a little bit in the morning, uh, flip D-bombs or some other soft plastics, uh, uh, you know, anywhere offshore kind of 10 to 16 feet maybe throw a chatterbait a little bit around some flat areas with some grass and then go fish boat docks with a jig um, that's the game plan 13 to 14 pounds is going to be what it takes per day to make the team and you know i think 15 pounds a day probably wins this whole thing so it's going to be a lot of guys catching fish we're going to be tightly packed uh, so i'm excited to get this tournament going uh if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of these tournament videos coming up uh, I really appreciate it if you guys would all hit that thumbs up and like the video. It really helps out the channel a lot. And uh, if you like these tournament videos, let me know in the comments because uh, they're definitely my favorite videos to make. As always, here to help you catch more bass and suck more.